The Rock forced to exit the bloodline, Damian Priest will win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania XL. Backstage reaction to Ronda Rousey's accusations against Drew Gulak. Naomi explains why she decided to return to WWE, Braun Strowman's massive message hours before WrestleMania. Jay Uso fires a major shot at his brother Jimmy Uso. The Rock elevates Roman Reigns' career beyond WWE. The Rock sends a message to WWE referee, whom he attacked after Raw. Let's dive right in. Damien Priest will win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania XL. Damien Priest has served as WWE's Mr. Money in the Bank for more than nine months. Since receiving the legendary contract in July 2023, the Judgment Day's punishment has had several efforts to cash in the briefcase foil before it is executed. He passed up even more cash and possibilities when Seth Rollins was extremely vulnerable. Much to the audience's chagrin, the Archer of Infamy is running out of time to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but WrestleMania XL could be his chance. In recent weeks, a few indications have led to Priest cashing in at Lincoln Financial Field, particularly in the World Heavyweight Championship event. Furthermore, these factors indicate that he will leave Philadelphia with the title around his waist. Here are three signs that Damian Priest will win the World Heavyweight Championship at WWE WrestleMania XL. Number 3. CM Punk and the Bloodline's potential meddling at WWE WrestleMania XL could create a gaping opening for Damian Priest to exploit. Drew McIntyre's biggest complaint about Seth Rollins throughout the WrestleMania feud has been that the latter's attention is divided. This is a legitimate concern, especially since the visionary will be facing McIntyre and the bloodline in Philadelphia. However, the Scottish warrior appears to have a massive blind spot towards his own fixation, CM Punk, which is diverting his attention. The Second City Saint will be providing commentary for the World Heavyweight Championship match, allowing him enough opportunity to intervene during or after the fight, that in the tiny issue of the bloodline may cost Rollins the match. Both of these possibilities are likely to occur, leaving Damian Priest with a clear route to cashing in and walking away as world champion. Number 2. Damian Priest's tease on WWE Raw on March 25 could be a foreshadowing of WrestleMania. WWE has repeatedly hinted at mild tensions within the Judgment Day on the road to WrestleMania XL. Several setbacks have lowered group morale, while individuals appear to be preoccupied with personal matters. Rhea Ripley is busy with Becky Lynch, Dominic Mysterio is working with Andrade et El Idolo Legado del Fantasma, and Finn Balor is coaching JD McDonough. How about Damian Priest? The Archer of Infamy has becoming increasingly dissatisfied with the organization, and he is clearly looking for bigger things. On the March 26, 2024 episode of Raw, he described WrestleMania XL being vital for Judgment Day as a group and as individuals, which raised many eyebrows, including those of Rhea Ripley. With time running out to cash in, is the show of shows Priest time? Was the punishment a foreshadowing of his peak performance? It's extremely possible given that Triple H and company rarely drop such signals without a predetermined payback. Number 1. The fact that WWE Clash at the Castle 2024 will be held in Scotland could be a WrestleMania XL blessing for Damian Priest. WWE began WrestleMania XL week with a major announcement regarding the reintroduction of the Clash at the Castle PLE. The event's second edition was announced to take place in Drew McIntyre's native nation of Scotland, causing fans to speculate about his position on the show. Most of the audience took it as important that the Scottish warrior would dethrone Seth Rollins at WrestleMania XL and stroll into Glasgow as World Heavyweight Champion. However, an additional explanation has emerged that appears to make as much, if not more, sense. Damien Priest might cash in at Lincoln Financial Field before fighting McIntyre at the OVO Hydro Arena, where the latter will finally have his time in his own nation. If Priest cashes in after the Scottish Warrior dethrones Rollins, it will make for two great mania moments and a tremendous hometown pop. It will also prevent WWE from wasting the MITB contract for a second year. Next up, backstage reaction to Ronda Rousey's accusations against Drew Gulak. Ronda Rousey recently made waves when she accused WWE superstar Drew Gulak of inappropriate behavior toward her while she was with the company. These charges caused substantial worry. WWE's internal response to Rousey's claims against Gulak has finally been revealed. During her appearance on News Nation, Ronda Rousey alleged that Drew Gulak acted inappropriately toward her by tugging the string of her sweatpants without her permission while she was waiting to speak with Triple H in the writer's room. I'm Drew Gulak. It was Drew Gulak. I confronted him later and told him, if I ever hear about you putting your hands on another lady like this, or doing anything like this to me again, we're going to have a problem. He said, no, no, number. 
I'm delighted you mentioned something to me. He truly backpilled, but it left me with a bad impression of the culture there and what is thought appropriate in terms of touching and treating women in the corridors and anywhere else. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Brian Alvarez discussed Ronda Rousey's allegations against Drew Gulak. According to Alvarez, some in WWE assumed Drew Gulak would be released as a result of Rousey's charges. There were people today, or actually it was Tuesday, when this story came out, and there were people there that thought, man, Drew Gulak's probably gonna be gone tomorrow. Drew Gulak has already responded responded to Ronda Rousey's charges. It is unclear whether Drew Gulak's alleged actions are true, but Ronda Rousey's accusation has undoubtedly painted him in a poor light for many. WWE may take action against him in reaction to these allegations. Do you believe Ronda Rousey's charges are legitimate? Share your thoughts in the comments box below. Next up, Naomi explains why she decided to return to WWE. Naomi has explained why she decided to return to WWE following a great spell in TNA. In 2022, she and her former tag team partner Sasha Banks Mercedes Monet walked out on Monday Night Raw. She later joined TNA Wrestling, where she performed under her real name, Trinity. She was heavily booked in the promotion, winning the bulk of her matches and even capturing the TNA Knockouts World title. She made a surprising return to WWE in January, competing in the Women's Royal Rumble event. In a recent interview with Going Ringside, Naomi stated that she returned to WWE since it is her home and family, and she had no reservations about returning to the company. It's been a wild ride, but it's been a fantastic adventure and I'm thrilled to be back. Working my way back to the top. WWE is at home. There was never a doubt about returning. It was just a matter of when. And I wanted to prove something and do something for myself. I did it. That is what I accomplished. It was simply time. I really missed it. WWE is always family, Naomi explained. Braun Strowman's massive message hours before WrestleMania. Braun Strowman has been out of action for a time, and the star appears to be preparing for a big comeback to the company. However, the star may have revealed his likely homecoming date in a letter he posted to followers online. Last year, on May 1, 2023, Braun Strowman wrestled his final match in at least 11 months. The star has been absent due to a neck injury, which necessitated spinal fusion surgery on his C4 and C5 vertebrae. The star recently broke his silence to discuss how he was 350 pounds and had a healthy body fat percentage, sharing a photo of his transformation. There has been no update on when he will return. Fans have been waiting for the monster among men to return to WWE after nearly a year away. The star made a post that appeared to hint at a possible return. Given that he is not participating in the event, he is featured on the WWE World event, where he will make appearances and meet and greets. In addition, he has announced that he would be in the city as early as tomorrow, visiting the Chicken Pete site in Philadelphia. Jay Uso fires a major shot at his brother Jimmy Uso. The stage is set for the Uso brothers to meet at WrestleMania, and Jay Uso isn't holding back when it comes to taking jabs at his WrestleMania opponent Jimmy Uso. The Bloodline saga is coming to a head as the Usos settle their differences on the grandest stage of them all. The story has been one of success, hardship, and betrayal, with their eventual match taking center stage for the public to see. Jimmy and Jay Uso have not held back in taking the battle to each other with the spectators witnessing their deep-rooted apathy during this year's Men's Royal Royal Rumble. With only a few days until their singles grudge match at WrestleMania XL, this sibling rivalry is still producing furious shots at one another. In a video aired on WWE's official social media, the former right-hand man took significant blows at his twin brother Jimmy Uso from the bloodline. The video showed Jay mocking his brother's face on a trailer, calling his happy face goofy and recalling their tag team days when everything were wonderful. I detest that photo, but guess what? At least I haven't seen as silly as that man over there. That's when things were good around here. That's the Usos from day one, bro. Jay Uso said, I don't know what it is, but there is no more use. The Rock elevates Roman Reigns' career beyond WWE. The Rock's return to WWE has been tremendous. Fans have had varying reactions to his plot. Regardless, he has raised widespread awareness of the company's goods. Furthermore, the final boss return has helped the promotion's ticket sales, with the last edition of Raw before WrestleMania XL establishing new records. Since Rocky joined the bloodline, Roman Reigns seemed to have been relegated to the sidelines on television. However, the Tribal Chief demonstrated his excellent mic ability on the most recent edition of WWE Raw, while the Great One looked on triumphantly. While some may believe that Reigns' popularity has declined since Rocky's return, this may not be the case at all. Reigns and Rocky just appeared on The Tonight Show. The Tribal Chief previously appeared on the show. However, his most recent appearance on the show alongside the Hollywood megastar was in a completely different level. The final boss lauded the Tribal Chief's performance for WWE and expressed his pride in co-headlining WrestleMania XL with his cousin. Rocky backing Reigns on a global platform like The Tonight Show might boost the latter's career. During your chat on The Tonight Show, the People's Champ appeared to fix the Tribal Chief's mistake of underselling his title battle versus the American Nightmare, claiming that they had done this previously. The final boss broke character to praise Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, referring to them as Luke Skywalker and the Joker, 
respectively. The Brahma Bull also stated that he believed the couple were unusual and crazy. Look, here's what you got. You have a guy named Cubby Rhodes. For those who don't know, Cubby Rhodes and Seth Rollins are each awful in their own right. I compare Cody Rhodes to Luke Skywalker. True. And I compare Seth Rollins to the Joker. Yeah, so these men are really unusual, kind of strange guys, but at the end of the day, like my cousin said, there could only be one. And when there is only one, you have the tribal chief and the final boss, The Rock explained. Legends endorsing current performers is an intriguing notion in WWE. Roman Reigns is an established main event performer. Nonetheless, The Rock accepted him as his tribal chief in front of the WWE Universe on a recent episode of SmackDown. While it was part of a storyline, it was a pivotal event in Reigns' illustrious career. Next up, The Rock sends a message to WWE referee whom he attacked after Raw. The Rock has messaged the WWE referee he beat up off-air on this week's episode of Raw. After Raw went off the air, the Great One observed a WWE referee tending to Seth Rollins. He walked stealthily towards the referee, waited a few seconds, and then struck him hard with his weight belt. WWE later published a footage of The Rock's unprovoked attack on the referee on its X account. The Brahma Bull saw the video and responded with the following, keep that head on a swivel boy and never turn back on The Rock with a belt in his hand. Nobody is safe. The Rock forced to exit the bloodline. The Rock and the bloodline will have a busy WrestleMania 40 weekend, as the Great One and undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns will team up to face Cody Rhodes and World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. This will be the main event of Night 1 and one of the most important matches, since it will determine the stipulation for the Rhodes vs Reigns match on Night 2. If Reigns and The Rock win, the Bloodline Rules match will take place on Sunday. However, if they are defeated, the faction will be barred from ringside. Rock has been turning heel since his return to the organization in early February. The People's Champion has been acting as the final boss for the past few weeks, thus a loss on Night 1 could prompt him to abandon the Bloodline. In this scenario, The Rock will be allowed to intervene in the reigns slash Rhodes bout because he is no longer a member of the faction. Even while it's unclear how The Rock will respond to a possible loss, it might pave the way for new opportunities. The Rock may turn on Roman Reigns and set the tone for a future match. WWE had planned for The Rock to return to challenge Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Despite their disagreements with Cody Rhodes, the People's Champion joined the Bloodline and partnered up with Reigns. However, the Great One may eventually turn on and betray Reigns. If this happens, especially after Day 2, it might pave the way for a future showdown between the two megastars. It will also allow the Tribal Chief to become a babyface. After been a heel since winning Universal Universal Champion in August 2020, it might lead to a conflict between Rhodes and Rock. Cody Rhodes and The Rock have been battling a lot over the last several weeks and The Great One has made it plain that he intends to kill the American Nightmare. Still, if he betrays Roman Reigns and assists Rhodes in finishing his plot, a battle between the two is possible whenever the People's Champion returns from his Hollywood schedule. In that scenario, The Rock may return to seal Rhodes' championship and complete his promise to destroy the American Nightmare. A betrayal by Rock and an exit from the Bloodline could enable Solo Sokoa advance. Solo Sokoa has been an important member of the Bloodline since he joined the faction at a clash at the castle in September 2022. Still, he hasn't had a clear direction in his career since then, and aside from an overwhelming victory of the great John Cena, he hasn't done much. This may change if Rock betrayed Roman Reigns and Sokoa finally stepped in to protect the tribal chief and the bloodline. Solo Sokoa would get involved and establish a feud with the Great One which would allow him to make a statement and set the tone for future title fights.